Good afternoon. How are y'all? See if I can center this. Is that more centered? Good afternoon. So this live is for the people who need a little bit of encouragement. So I was literally sitting here in my room minding my business when this scripture fell into my lap and it says write the vision and make it plain on tablets that's a paraphrase but it literally spoke to me because tomorrow is november 1st we are at the end of the year and a lot of people i feel become hard on themselves like oh my god this is another year i did not reach the goal that i set out to do I did not do what I said I was going to do. I set these New Year's resolutions at the beginning of the year, and I've done none of them. But the thing is, it's not too late to start. Just because you didn't do what you thought you were going to do in January does not mean it's too late to start in November. It's never too late to start. And it's not over until it's over. So... As long as you believe in you, you can do it. And the only person that has to believe in you is you. Be your own cheerleader. Be your own motivator. Be your own drive. Be whatever you need to be to be able to accomplish what you need to do to make you happy. And that's my message for today. What can you do to make you happy? It's tomorrow, November 1st. I have out my calendar. Here's my planner. And I'm about to write down what I want for the year. A lot of people do a big vision board at the beginning of the year. I do a monthly because I, I do a monthly. Every month I flip and I write down what I want. I write down what I want, I write down what I what I need, I write down what I see for myself. But you have to do what works for you. For you, you may need a board, you may need a visual, like something to look at every day. But for me, I got my pretty pens. As you can see, I've started, I got my scripture at the top. Mm -hmm. Write the vision. Write the vision. And after you write that vision, after you write the vision, you have to put in the work to get what you want. I, as for me, like I've been saying for years, I want to be a content creator. I want to be a content creator. I want to be a content creator. But I never put in the work behind saying that I wanted to be a content creator to become a content creator. And I've said, I want to be a nurse. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a nurse. But... I was very stagnant on yeah, yeah. going back to school to complete the classes that I needed to complete in order to get into the nursing program. But in this year, in my 28th year of life, it finally clicked in my head. I can't get anywhere if I'm not willing to do the work to be where I want to be in life. You have to do the work. And since doing the work, since doing the work, since going back to school and completing my courses, since getting on social media and posting consistently, doing the work, I am becoming everything that I want to become. And it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling knowing that you did it. Even when you got all these people that don't believe in you, you believed in you and you did it. Round of applause. Sometimes you gotta clap for yourself too because let me tell you every time i reach a milestone i celebrate me rather that's taking myself out to eat going to buy something that i like i celebrate me you can't wait on other people to celebrate your accomplishments and then when nobody celebrates you you sit back in the corner and you're so sad and you're depressed and you're upset like dang i did this and nobody's congratulating me so keep going Keep going. That's the only way is to keep going. 
Yes, you did this. Okay, so what? Now what? Now what are you going to do? Because that's how people are going to look at you. And sometimes people won't celebrate you. Not for, not for the small things. Not for the small things. And the things that may be big to you may be little to them. So you have to learn to celebrate yourself. And you can't be upset when somebody is not celebrating you the way that you feel you deserve to be celebrated. You get one life to live and it is not over until it's over. So you have a choice. How am I going to look at my life? How am I going to choose to live my life? How am I going to choose to let other people affect me? How am I going to choose to allow certain situations to dictate the the trajectory of my life? I can't even talk. It's everything is a choice and you have to wake up every morning and make the choice to be a better version of yourself. As long as you wake up every morning and make a conscious decision to be a better version of yourself, that's all you got to do. It's not for anybody else. It's for you. It's for you. Live for you. Live your life for you. Be the best version of whatever you are. If you are a student, be the best student you can be. If you are a CNA, be the best CNA that you can be. If you are a janitor, be the best janitor that you can be. If you are an entrepreneur, be the best entrepreneur that you can be. Be the best version of you. Be the best version of you. And the more that you focus on being the best version of you, that's when you excel. That's when opportunities come around. Because you may not know it or not, but people are watching you. People are watching you. It may be in your workplace. You may think that your job don't appreciate you. They don't congratulate you. They don't thank you enough. But behind closed doors, somebody could be watching you and seeing you be the best version of yourself and you get a promotion. Unexpected to you because the whole time you're sitting there like, dang, this job don't appreciate me. But little do you know, they're watching you and they see you. They see you. So, my message, be the best version of you. Focus on yourself and what you want to be. And that's it. And pull, pull out your calendars, your planners, and plan your life. Write the vision and make it plain on tablets. That's biblical, y'all. I done found a whole verse that then set me straight this morning. A whole verse. And I'm going to continue. You live the life that you want to live. But in order to live the life that you want to live, you got to bet on you. You can't be scared. You can't be listening to other people. Because half the time, the people that you're listening to, not even your friends. Half the time, the people that you are listening to are not your friends. You got an idea. They're like, oh, girl, that ain't even a good idea. They tell you that because they're jealous of you. And they want you to be stuck where you are. Bet on yourself. Believe in yourself. And that's it. There we go. And don't worry about the haters. Let them know. Tell them. Let them know. Because it's always going to be some. It's always going to be some haters in the bunch. And sometimes they are disguised as your friends. It could be your family. It could be the people closest to you. And every time you got it. If every time you have an idea, somebody shoots you down and tell you the bad side of it. That's not who you need to be surrounded by. You need to surround yourself with like-minded people. Somebody that's going to uplift you. Somebody that's going to motivate you. Somebody that's going to inspire you. Those are the type of friends that you need. Again, we are at the end of the year. And I'm telling you, tomorrow's November 1st. It's not over until it's over. You may not have reached all of those New Year's resolutions or did everything you said you were going to do at the beginning of the year. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
It's never too late to start. It's never too late to change. It's never too late to be the better version of yourself until this life is over. So wake up every day and decide. You have to decide to be a better version of you. It does not just happen. It's a choice. You can choose to be happy. You can choose to be mad. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be mad. Only you can decide. And only you can live your life for you. Thank you. Thank you for the stars. I appreciate you. I'm on here having my TED talk. I just want to encourage somebody and uplift somebody and uplift somebody because sometimes you don't have that in your life. Sometimes you're not surrounded by people that give you that. Sometimes for some people, all you hear is negativity. I want to encourage you to continue to press forward. I believe in you. I support you. I'm praying for you. And I know that you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. You can do it. Let today be the first day of the rest of your life. Let today be the first day of the rest of your life. They tell you that when you start school. They tell you that when you start a new job. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. And if you get it wrong today, let tomorrow be the first day of the rest of your life. And if you get it wrong tomorrow, you're going to wake up the next day. And you're going to let that day be the first day of the rest of your life. You try it until you get it right. You may not get it right the first time. You may not get it right the second, third, or fourth time. But you have to persevere. You have to push through. And again, I believe in you. I'm clapping for you. I'm here for you. I love you so very much. And I hope all of you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Love you. Bye.